Hey there guys and welcome to the AWS Lambda console. Now in this tutorial we'll be talking about the differences between the Elastic Beanstalk and the Lambda service. First off, for your Lambda, you must know that it's a simpler and a less expensive way to go with. It uses serverless applications and lets you uh, use outside code or events to invoke your functions that you create over here. Also, you need to know that you will not pay anything unless you are actually running your code on it. So only whenever an application is running and the function is running, that is when you get to pay using Lambda. Otherwise, you have nothing to pay for. It's simply uh, free of charge whenever you don't run your code. It gives you step function state machines to run chunks of code when running an application, and it gives you additional resources such as layers to go with. Now, for the best use case, Lambda is actually good for uh, whenever you're implementing a API, for, uh, for example, for your applications. Lambda is the most economical way to go with whenever you want to implement API. They are both actually great choices, and they serve different purposes, so that's the whole... Um, essence of it. Now let's go ahead to go to the, the, to the Beanstalk console to learn even more about it. Now the Elastic Beanstalk service is used for the purpose of running full applications and it will give you a whole control over their environment which is over here will be supplied for you in the console for setting up and configurations uh, for managing environments and applications. So then when is the best use case to go with creating an application using Elastic Beanstalk? What you need to know is that whenever you're going with web applications that have to go on the web, the best way to go is by using the Elastic Beanstalk uh, because it is the best way to launch an application fully when working with web applications, while the Lambda will not actually be capable of running full applications such as those on the web. So, so thank you so much you guys for watching, that's it for the differences between the Elastic Beanstalk and the Lambda. Please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to our channel to learn even more.